Hello, my name is Ethan White. I'm a freshman in mechanical engineering at the University of Wisconsin Green Bay. And today I'd like to show you a CAD project that I've been working on for a parametric modeling class. I decided to model a Lancer Tactical Gen 3 Airsoft gearbox. And this gearbox is essentially like all of the moving parts of the uh, airsoft rifle. I've got some experience with these things and I've disassembled a few of them before so I thought I'd be pretty fun to model. Uh, here it is in uh, model view. It's got up here it's got a nozzle, a little nozzle bar, it's got this piston, this piston head, a spring, a uh, spring guide, it's got all these gears that are mated together. It's got the trigger and it's got this uh, little computer here the little switch here. There's another half to the shell. I'm not showing it right now, so I can show you the insides. There it all is, all together. It's screwed in place by these screws here. And yeah, this is pretty typical of what you'd see in really any airsoft rifle. There it is again. I've got a couple motion studies to show you. This here is all the mechanical parts working together. Um, as the trigger is pulled, it actuates the computer. And the computer's got, you know, it's pretty smart. It can tell if you're in safe, so it won't fire, or semi-auto, so it'll fire once per trigger pull, or it can also go into full auto where it'll, you know, just run it, as you see here, in a loop when the trigger's pulled. Um, when the trigger's pulled, it drives a motor that drives this gear here. And this gear meshes with this gear, which meshes with this gear, in specific ratios to, you know, increase the torque of the motor so that it can pull back this piston head. Um, this piston head, it interfaces with this gear here, as you can see, and it gets pulled back as it spins. And then at some point right here, it gets launched forward by the spring, and it forces air through this piston and out through the little nozzle on the front here. And that pushes the BB forward and, you know, you shoot somebody. Um, and also this nozzle reciprocates back and forth. And the reason for that is that as you fire, obviously you need to load a new BB into the firing chamber every time. And so as this gets pulled back by this gear here, it loads a new BB. And then as it gets pushed, pushed forward, the piston fires and sends it flying. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and have a good one.